Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the Cupid's Bow project pen, which is a take on the Finish 14 by Valentine's Day project that already exists. This is a Pantastic Ladies project, so it is a collab. It was created by Jessica and Amanda, who I'll link their channels down below. They're amazing ladies. If you're not following them, you need to be, so get right on that. And I will link everyone else who is doing this with us in the description box down below, along with the Facebook group that we now have, which is the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group, and that is where we host all of our projects that are upcoming, and you can just join them as and when you want, and that way we can share each other's channels, grab on projects that you like the look of however you want to. So like if you don't fancy doing one you're not obliged to, if you don't fancy doing another you're not obliged to, but if you like the look of some others you can just join those as and when you want to. So as I said uh, that'll all be linked down below along with everyone else. That's my little spiel over. So I'm just going to get into the items. I haven't finished anything yet. Surprise, surprise, I never finish anything, but we were going to give it a go and see what happens and hopefully before Valentine's Day we will actually finish an item. First things first, the Revo lip balm. This is like a little twisty thing. It's called Twist and Pout. It is by Revo and I wanted to just hit pan on this probably. It is a lot of lip balm to use up completely and I do have other lip balms in projects already. We have a moment of silence for the lip project or sorry, the roulette that is turning it into my lip project. Do you know Amanda messaged me about that? She was like, I snorted, it was so funny. And I'm like, yeah, thanks. I love you, but thank you for the support. <laughs> anyway, I haven't hit pan yet. Probably won't. We're gonna keep trying at it. To be honest, I forgot that this was in this project, so I'll, now that I've done this update, I've reminded myself that I do need to keep using this, so I will get right on that, and hopefully next time you will see some of the pan. That is if it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom here, which I'm hoping it doesn't. If anyone has these, tell me that they finish about here, please, because I can't be dealing with finishing the whole thing. This is the Keme Romantic Body Lotion. I've not used this yet. Again, this is like the lip balm. I have other body lotions in projects. I don't know why I put this in here. But I will get it out as a reminder that I need to use it up. So consider these two things. Even though I don't do a body care or skincare basket, consider these two things in the imaginary basket. Maybe I do need to do what Jessica does. I keep saying I don't need to do it. At this point, I'm rethinking that. Avon Far Away Infinity. This is my intro. Get out of the way. Intro first update and now. Between the first between the first update and now I used about the same amount as I did the start the intro and the first update even though it is at a wider point now. So presumably I've used more because of the wider point thing. So hopefully by next time this one will actually be done because it tapers in again. So fingers crossed this is done by the next time round. I have the Too Faced blush in the Love Hangover. Just looks like that. This needs to go in the basket for this time around, I think, because I've not used it since the last update. A lovable lipstick by Avon. That this I used the other day. Just looks like that. And it was so totally, so totally the wrong colour for the season. So totally the wrong colour. To the point where I had to put something shiny over the top of it to make it look like look like a gloss, like cheer it out a bit, because it was so, so not the right colour for the season. Like, this is a spring-summer colour. So hopefully, I will get some use out of it in February before our Valentine's Day comes, otherwise we're not going to be moving from that point. That's, that's where I am. So even though I used it the other day, it doesn't look like there's any progress. Eyeliner. This one is the... Avon Colour Trend, the double ended. This is in Romantic Eyes. I quite like this eyeliner, you know, considering it costs me nothing. Literally cost me nothing. Avon sent it to me. I have the purple side, which is to there. Oh, that's a ton of progress. That's so good to see. Like, so good to see. Let me mark that on the paper. Okay. I'm really happy about that because, you know, for ages I've been doing things where I'm not seeing any progress and that's just, that's beautiful, look at that. Okay, and I have the black side which will also have progress but not as much. And that's how much has gone from, where, where can I, there we go. That's how much has gone from the black side. So only a teeny tiny bit. 
as I said, you wouldn't see as much progress, but that's only because I've not been using it as much as the purple side. What my favourite thing to do is, is on those days where I'm running late for work, or, which happens quite a lot, let's be honest, or um, I'm not feeling wearing too much makeup, I will go ahead and put like a peachy colour in my crease and then blend it down to my lid. So it's sort of like an ombre, like it's darker in my crease and then faint towards the lashes. And then I'll use the purple eyeliner as the pop of colour underneath. And it's quite a nice like, this took me two seconds, but it looks like I made an effort kind of a look. Okay, I have some nail polishes here. I'm itchy. Why am I itchy? That looks really derpy, didn't it? Like, uh... Anyway, I might cut that out. I might keep it in. Who knows? If it makes the cut... Let me know down below. This nail polish, the Rimmel 60 Second in White Hot Love. I've not used this. I will be, now that it's winter, I need to finish up this colour, this black colour. But once that's gone, I'm going to be using like ice colours and more wintry type things. And I want to do some Christmassy nail art and I'll need the white for that. So that'll go a ton. One thing that again, I can't use until like January, February time is the Tanya Burn Nail Polish. This one's in Peaches and Cream. And the reason I picked it is because it has a love heart on the top there. I plan on doing some nail art with this. I plan on doing like a French lace type thing that I saw somebody do. Um, I can't remember who it was, otherwise I tell you. I'm not taking any claims to that. Somebody did some French lace na uh, nail artwork. It was really pretty. I want to like try and do it for myself, so. And then I had an eyeshadow, which was in the Revolution palette the Makeup Revolution palette, and it is this shade here, which is like a t cool toned taupey brown colour, and it is in the shade You Are Finally Mine, and I wanted to hit pan on that, as you can see I've not done that yet, so that needs to go into a makeup basket. I feel like this makeup basket this time around is going to be like really switched up, like really switched up. We're going to be like putting all these new things in, it's going to be great. And then the last four items were from the Sleek palette. This is the Vintage Romance palette. And I have been enjoying this palette actually, really, really enjoying it. You can see this one here has a huge dip in. That was one of the ones I wanted to hit pan on. This is one of the ones I wanted to hit pan on. And these two at the front here, the brown and the purple, I wanted to hit pan on. I think this one and this one definitely. I will hit pan on. The other two are like, who knows, maybe we'll see. Not quite sure what pink is going to look like on my eyes with my blue hair, but we'll give it a go. If it looks really, really bad, nobody will ever know that it happened, but I will probably update you in the next update whether or not it worked or not. But that's everything for this update. It was a quick one, actually. That went by really quickly. Not sure. Was, was I talking too quickly? I don't know. Somebody tell me if I was talking too quickly, because if I am, then I need to fix that. Because we, you guys don't need to be sat there at 100 miles an hour, and then like this, for all of it. And then at the end, like, what just happened? I missed all of that. Like, So if I am doing that, let me know, please, so that I can slow it down for you and talk at a normal pace. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.